Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I was wanting to just flip through these because they gave me so much nostalgia. So this is an A5 Stology and then my A5 Cousin. And before I got, I believe, the Cousin, I was in the Stology doing a lot of um, kind of faith-based, brain dumpish kind of things. Um, if you follow me around this time, you know that's what I was doing in here. And oh my gosh, it just gave me all of the feels because I was doing... This was like a heavy time when I was in like a lot of counseling and... Um, oh my goodness, my famous tree, I swear. That is the only thing I took out of 8th grade, ninth grade, 8th grade art classes. Um... So there will be a point in here that I try and mimic the Hobonichi cousin because I was trying to figure out if that is what I wanted to use. Um, and then, yeah, I just bit the bullet and bought a cousin. I wanna say this was 19, yeah. So I've done, I did a lot of journaling in here, a lot of self-reflection, a lot of just, Oh gosh, it was just a really good time. I've read some of here, some of these um, studies and journals, and it's like, wow, it's just an amazing time where God can take you out from where you are into a different kind of place and mindset. So I wanna say this is when I started a planner so the first part was like faith and then the second part was planning and this was in May I did a weekly and then I would do the dailies in between and then I believe I would do a weekly just to see if I was going to like the cousin and I guess where I was at this point in time I went back to doing faith-based stuff because I believe I bought the cousin at that point. So I did a lot of soap study in here. And oh my gosh, I just, I love it y'all. I'm glad that I save a lot of my books. I believe if I went through all of my books, it would probably take me a whole day. I have a lot of different things that I use. Oh, this has got to be a favorite spread. So I have the majority of this A5 left. That was the, um, I'd say I used half of it. And then I got into the Hobonichi Cousin. And this is where I was really using it. May of 2019, then there's June, I fizzled off in July, August I used, and then I repurposed September 2020. And then I started going on to the whole repurposing thing. Then, here are my weeks. Very minimal and then, well minimal for me, and then it gets into this was like an all pencil spread. I really like that. And then this is kind of like how I use my, my cousin. Um, it's just great. A lot of memory keeping, a lot of stickerage. And then I took out some weeks, I wanna say, because maybe I wanted to punch it. <laughs> And then here are my days. So my days go into pretty heavy, just regular planning. Um, they were working for a really long time like that. And then I wanna say I went into soap study in here. And that's where I got like my niche. I think the pen I was using in here too was the Pilot Multi-Ball, multi I wanna say. 
And I really love how my writing looks with that pen in here. Go live with Aaron, FaceTime Danny. Oh, how sweet. Um, it's definitely keto. This is where I was like very sticker heavy, which I love. I love doing that. And then I want to know where I go into my <laughs> uh, soap study. It's kind of dwelling out now because I think for August, I think it's right here. Heading into August. Yeah, it's when we fly out to California for my 38th birthday. That's when I started using it here in August as a soap study. And this was prior to me even putting doing my monthly books. I didn't start my monthly books until 2020. And now all of my soap study is in my main planner. But that is my favorite way to study the Word of God. It's a short little way. Um, you know, it just gives you the opportunity to uh, write out the scripture, figure out what is I feel the Lord is saying about that scripture, like my understanding, then application and prayer. Okay, best friend. She already ate, but she wants more food. So then I did like a whole week in September 2020. Then I went back to like journaling. And then it just, this is when I was just fizzled out. Yeah. So anyhow, guys, I still have a good portion of the Hobonichi Cousin. The back of the page um, I would use as well. I wrote letters to my kids and first day of eighth grade for him. So this cover, bless you, is, looks like this. It has a little girl in it, bless you. But I, I don't really like that little girl, so I cover it with this. So anyhow, my friends, I just wanted to show you a quick flip in the, uh, with these two. I was in my woman cave and I was like, oh man, cause I know that if I'm laying in bed one day, I will want to see a flip of these and they also motivate and inspire me. So thanks for watching.